Hello and welcome to In Depth. I'm Tina Jha. The 9-11 terror attack in the United States triggered a search for a foolproof system to protect cities from skyborne armed threats. In the years to follow, many countries either developed their own missile shields or procured them from the United States or Russia. India has been trying to develop an indigenous ballistic missile defense system since the late 1990s. The Defense Research and Development Organization is in the final stages of developing its two-tier ballistic missile defense shield that can track and destroy nuclear missiles both inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere. India is also importing defense systems from the US, Russia and Israel to fully secure its airspace. And now, India is in talks with the United States to procure the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System II, which, in addition to defending the National Capital Region from aerial attacks, will also supplement the two-tier ballistic missile defense shield developed by the DRDO. What is the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System? How will it secure Delhi's airspace? And how will it boost India's missile defense shield? Let's analyze in depth today. Well, the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System can quickly identify, engage and destroy incoming aircraft, missiles and drones. It is produced by Raytheon of United States with Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace of Norway. It guards the national capital region of the United States and is also in service in countries like Finland, Spain, Netherlands and Norway. India is working on a mega defence project to make airspace over almost all its major cities, including Delhi and Mumbai, virtually impregnable against attacks by aircraft, drones or missiles. News reports say the government is in talks with the United States to procure an advanced air defence system to defend Delhi from aerial attacks. They also claim that the Defence Acquisition Council, chaired by Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, has acknowledged the necessity to acquire the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System II estimated at $1 billion. Delhi being the capital city, the threat is also expected to be more. So from that point of view, India is purchasing this missile cover, which involves 8 radar systems and 12 missile batteries. Essentially, these radars will be able to identify the incoming threat, which is expected to be in form of either a fighter aircraft or an unmanned air vehicle or from a cruise missile. Uh, after this threat gets identified, the radars will direct to the missile systems uh, to, get the launch, to get the system launched and neutralize this threat into the air. As part of the overall Delhi area air defense plan, work is in progress to realign the VIP 89 area over New Delhi. This includes the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament, North and South blocks. Besides, work is also on to shorten the decision-making loop to shoot down planes that may have been hijacked or commandeered for use as missiles against strategic targets. VIP 89 area is being realigned so that the core of Delhi, which is Rashpati Bhavan, Parliament House, North Block, South Block, National Advanced Command Post, can be given protection against air threat vehicles. What are those air threat vehicles which this system protects? Like aircrafts, like cruise missiles, like hijacked planes which can be used as a missile, anti-radiation missile, unarmed vehicles, etc., etc. Now this NASAM system is nothing new. NASAM is a system which was developed by Raytheon Company along with Konigsberg Defense and Aerospace of Norway in 1990s. The system got ready in 1998 and operational clearance was accorded in 1994. The system is already with Royal Norwegian Air Force. The system was put through a mid-life upgrade in around 2000 and the system got ready in 2007. India is also going ahead with the procurement of the S-400 systems from Russia, despite the threat of sanctions from the United States under the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. In addition to the imports, the Defence Research and Development Organisation is in final stages of developing a two-tier ballistic missile system that will provide a multi-layered shield against ballistic missile attacks. DRDO is developing a missile shield on its own. This missile shield will be able to address the incoming threats at two levels. One at an endo-atmospheric level and another is at an exo-atmospheric level. It is expected that in coming one or two years, DRDO will be able to fully make, fully operationalize the missile shield 
which will be able to encounter the threats which are coming from a distance of 2,000 kilometers. The ballistic missile defense system is designed to track and destroy nuclear missiles both inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere. Phase 1 of the ballistic missile defense system is expected to be deployed soon. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Indian cities will now be equipped with a security cover called National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System II. This air defense system can tackle any threat from the sky and can even destroy enemy missiles in the air. Let's understand what makes the system so special. The missile system NASAMS-2 is India's solution to protecting its national capital and other cities against terrorist attacks through missiles and drones. VIP 89 area is being realigned so that the core of Delhi, which is Rashpati Bhavan Parliament House, North Block, South Block, National Advanced Command Post, can be given protection against air threat vehicles. What are those air threat vehicles which the system protects? Like aircrafts, like cruise missiles, like hijacked planes which can be used as a missile, anti-radiation missile, unarmed vehicles, etc., etc. Now this NASAM system is nothing new. NASAM is a system which was developed by Raytheon Company along with Konigsberg Defense and Aerospace of Norway in 1990s. The system got ready in 1998 and operational clearance was accorded in 1994. This system is already with Royal Norwegian Air Force. This system was put through a mid-life upgrade in around 2000 and the system got ready in 2007. The National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, or NASAMS, is a medium-range network-centric air defense system developed jointly by Raytheon and Kongsingberg Defense and Aerospace, primarily for the Royal Norwegian Air Force. The system can identify, engage and destroy aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. It protects high-value assets and mass population centers against air-to-surface threats. The National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System 2, an upgraded version of the NASAMS, uses 3D pencil beam surveillance for quicker identification and destruction of targets. Two batteries are used in NASAMS 2 and it uses 12 missile launchers. It has short and medium range AIM-120 Amran missile. NASAMS 2 has a fire control center, an electro-optical camera vehicle, a passive electro-optical and infrared sensor, hard real-time communication network, and an embedded and standalone mission planning tool. NASAMS 2 is armed with 3D Sentinel radars. It will also have command and control units in addition to the fire distribution center like Washington's defense network to track enemy missiles in sky in less time and destroy them. The missile system can engage 72 targets simultaneously in active and passive modes. This advanced system which has got three components, a radar component, a missile component and battle management and control system. The radar component is a Sentinel F1 radar. It's got a range of 75 kilometers and missile system got three types of missiles called slam ram, surface launch AMRAM missile, ranges 55 to 75 km, 105 km and 180 km and a battle management and control system. This is a system which will provide quick short range air defense to the assets which I have just talked about. NASAMS 2 defense system can be easily transported through truck and rail. This system has 360 degree defense capability and can be operated day and night in any season. Through this, airborne hazards on many fronts can be detected simultaneously. In Delhi being the capital city, the threat is also expected to be more. So from that point of view, India is purchasing this missile cover, which involves 8 radar systems and 12 missile batteries. 
essentially these radars will be able to identify the incoming threat which is expected to be in form of either a fighter aircraft or a unmanned air vehicle or from a cruise missile uh, after this threat gets identified the radars will direct to the missile systems uh, to get the to get the system launched and neutralize this threat into the air NASA's 2 can be used for data link management track identification security risk assessment and weapon distribution uh, DRDO is uh, developing a missile shield on its own this missile shield will be able to address the incoming threats at two levels one at a indo atmospheric level and another is at a exo atmospheric level it is expected that in coming one or two year drdo will be able to fully make fully operationalize the missile shield which will be able to encounter the threats which are coming from a distance of 2000 kilometers At present the Nasam 2 missile system is deployed in Royal Norwegian Air Force Dutch Army Spanish Army and Washington and Finland Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV With that time for a very short break on the program we'll be right back Watch the big picture with me Frank Rausen Pereira at 6:30 p.m. In India 95% of the vehicles are two wheelers, three wheelers and cars with under 10 lakhs. 10 years 12 years time we'll probably have just electric vehicles. We learned that if you make a DC fan the the energy consumption will go down by a factor of 2 and 1/2 uh -huh. so we dreamt of what is called solar dc if the best people uh -huh. with best training mm. and best teachers if they cannot figure out a way to take country forward mm. in spite of all the obstacles who else can watch you recover with dr ashok jhunjhunwala professor at iit madras saturday 4 pm and sunday 12 noon only on rajya sabha television Tales that inspire. Stories of social change. A salute to diversity. Promoting public discourse. Events that motivate. Inspiring the innovative spirit. Watch Rajya Sabha television documentaries. Welcome back you're watching in depth the s400 air defense system is capable of destroying enemy missiles with its effectiveness being compared to america's anti ballistic missile defense system thard let's consider in detail the features of this russian system s400 is an anti aircraft weapon system previously known as s300 pmu3 It was developed in the 1990s by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau. It was first successfully tested on February 12, 1999. In 2001, the S-400 was slated to be deployed in the Russian Army. It was finally approved for service in 2007. It is considered the world's best air defense system. The S-400 is based on a multifunctional system that can drop missiles at different speeds and also target cruise and ballistic missiles. India is procuring S400 missile system total of 5 regiments at a cost of 40000 crores now this system is a step higher in range because its ranges start from 120 to 400 kilometers why do you and also it is not only against enemy air threat it is also against enemy surface to surface ballistic missile any ballistic missile which come this is also an anti missile system In addition to this DRDO is also producing a ballistic missile defense system which is called 
program AD. Now this is in two phases, phase one and phase two. Phase two was designed to produce a system which can defeat enemy ballistic missiles up to a range of 2,000 kilometers, and phase two was a system which was designed to defeat the missile up to 5,000 kilometers. Both these systems are ready. One phase one was to be ready in 2012, phase two to be ready in 2016. It just needs to be operationalized by moving from the DRDO to the stakeholders. Designed to destroy aircraft, crews and ballistic missiles, the S-400 air defense missile system has a special command and control system. Its panoramic radar detection system has a range of 600 kilometers with protection against jamming. Its radars can track 100 to 300 targets within a tracking range of 600 kilometers. Supersonic and hypersonic missiles in this system are capable of penetrating enemy aircraft, fighter jets, stealth planes, missiles, drones and all types of air targets within a range of 400 km at an altitude of up to 30 km. This defense system can target ground bases. It can also neutralize 36 targets at one time in the range of 400 km. We basically require two types of capability. One is a defensive capability and one is a deterrent capability of offense. What is a defensive capability? Defensive capability is the capability that we possess in negating the air threat from the enemy, which may manifest in terms of aircraft, cruise missiles, anti radiation missile, surface to surface missile, uh, unarmed vehicles, unarmed combat aerial vehicles, etc., etc. This missile, this capability is manifest in terms of all air defense weapons. Today we have a defensive capability. This defensive capability is going to improve and become better in range, reach and altitude over a period of time. The air defense system approximately has 12 launchers that are equipped with different missiles. These systems are able to fire three types of missiles simultaneously which can be launched within five minutes. The S-400 anti-aircraft weapon system is two times more effective than the Russian Army's S-300P and S-200 air defense systems. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha Television. America, Russia and most of the European countries have their own air defense systems. Let's look at the salient features of the surface-to-air missile systems that are currently in use across the world. Air defense system is the technology that shields a country against any incoming ballistic missile or fighter jet. It not only detects them but also has the capability of destroying them mid-air before they can cause any harm. The missile defense system makes use of satellite sensors to detect and identify incoming warhead. The satellite sensors warn the air defense system of an incoming missile launched from any part of the world. After getting the information, the system decides on when to destroy it. In most cases, the incoming warhead is destroyed in the boost phase, during which it is launched at high speeds above the atmosphere. The advantage of destroying a missile in boost phase is that the debris remains in the country from where it was launched. Currently, many countries, including India, are developing their own air defense systems. India is concerned that there are various other options available in the world uh, for ensuring that they get a good bargain as far as missile shield is concerned. India can purchase missile shield from countries like Israel, which has already been put in place a very successful missile shield, particularly for short-range missiles called Iron Dome. Otherwise, India has already made plans to purchase missile shield from Russia, which is known as S-400. Essentially, it is a long-distance missile shield. Air defense systems are classified on the basis of short, medium and long-range missiles. France and Italy have jointly developed the Aster missile system. Aster 15 and Aster 30 are a family of vertically launched surface-to-air missiles. Britain is also using the Aster missile system. The Arrow is a family of anti-ballistic missile system jointly funded and produced by Israel and the United States. Undertaken by Israel Aerospace Industries and Boeing, it is overseen by the Israeli Ministry of Defense Administration and the U.S. Missile Defense Agency. The first arrow was declared fully operational in October 2000. 
our relations with us are continuously improving we are just about we just have got the six uh, the clearance has been accorded for six apache helicopters before, before that the hellfire missiles etc but our basic missile system alignment has been with the erstwhile ussr or present us present russia uh, talking of ground based air defense missiles starting from igla missile starting from strela missile starting from osa missiles quadrat missiles all belong to the russian missile system really lately i have talked about in the earlier question about s400 missile system a long range air defense and anti missile system that is also from russia you are also aware that we are having a very big success story of brahmos missile which is also the world's fastest cruise missile that is also from russia so our missile system technology alignment is from russia america's terminal high altitude area defense or thart is considered one of the best anti ballistic missile defense systems in the world thart was developed after the experience of iraq's missile attacks during the gulf war in 1991 thart is designed to shoot down short medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase by intercepting with a hit to kill approach It has been deployed in Guam, the United Arab Emirates and South Korea. Apart from this, America's surface to air missile system has also been installed in many countries. However, Russia's S series air defense system is considered the best in the world. Apart from S200, S300, S400, Russia is now developing the S500 air defense system. The United Kingdom too successfully tested the Land Scepter surface to air missile defense system from a mobile launcher against targets in Sweden. Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program is a double tiered system consisting of two land and sea based interceptor missiles namely the Prithvi air defense missile for high altitude interception and the advanced air defense missile for lower altitude interception. Apart from this, India also possesses Barak A, a surface to air missile designed to defend against any type of airborne threat including from aircraft, helicopters, anti-ship missiles and UAVs as well as ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and combat jets. Both maritime and land-based versions of the system exist to make India's boundaries impregnable. Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV. And that's it from us in today's edition of In Depth. We'll be back same time tomorrow with a focus on another subject. You can also watch our episodes online on YouTube and Twitter and get back to us with your feedback and suggestions. Thanks for your time.